Welcome back to Reading Out Aloud. Today I'm going to read Home Alone, the classic illustrated storybook, based on the story written by John Hughes and directed by Chris Columbus, illustrated by Kim Smith. Enjoy! Twas three nights before Christmas, and the McAllister family was getting ready to leave for vacation. Everyone was busy packing. Everyone except Kevin, who was busy getting into trouble. Go straight to bed, his mother demanded. That's enough trouble for one day. Lying in bed, Kevin could hear voices and laughter coming from downstairs. Everyone was having fun without him. I hope I never see my family again, Kevin whispered. I wish I was home alone. The next morning, the house was very, very quiet. No one was shouting. No one was running around. No one was telling Kevin to hurry up and eat his breakfast. No one was home. Finally, Kevin realized what had happened. I made my family disappear. For the first time ever, Kevin had the house all to himself. He raced up and down the halls. He jumped on all the beds. He ate a giant ice cream sundae for breakfast. After watching hours of television, he searched through his brother's private stuff and rode a toboggan down a giant mountain. He even tried his father's aftershave lotion. This was not a good idea. It stings. But sometimes it was scary to be all alone. Kevin was especially afraid of his next-door neighbor. Old Man Marley was the scariest person who lived on their block. And that night, Kevin heard whispers outside the living room window. Burglars were snooping around his house. You see, Marv said, most of the houses on this street are empty. Everyone is away for the holidays. Perfect, Harry said. We'll come back tomorrow night and steal everything. Kevin was so scared. He dialed 911, but the telephone didn't work. The wires had been damaged in a snowstorm. After hiding under his parents' bed for a long time, Kevin decided that he was being silly. Only a wimp would be hiding, and I can't be a wimp. I'm the grown-up of this house, and I need to act like one. The next day was Christmas Eve, and Kevin had plenty of grown-up work to do. He walked to the grocery store and bought food. He put his clothes in the washing machine. He decorated a Christmas tree, and he hung Christmas stockings for his parents and brothers and sisters. I miss you guys, he whispered. I wish you would come back. Kevin's family always went to church on Christmas Eve, so that's what Kevin did too. After the service ended, he saw his scary next-door neighbor, Old Man Marley, sitting nearby. You don't have to be afraid, Mr. Marley said. The kids in the neighborhood have lots of spooky stories about me, but they're not true. After they talked for a while, Kevin realized that Mr. Marley was in fact a very nice man. Are you visiting anyone for Christmas? Kevin asked. No, Mr. Marley said. I miss my family and I'd like to see them, but my son and I are fighting. I said some angry words that I didn't mean. Kevin knew exactly how Mr. Marley felt. Kevin remembered wishing his family would disappear, but he hadn't really meant it. You should try talking to your son, Kevin said. Maybe I will, Mr. Marley said. When Kevin left the church, it was already dark. The burglars would be coming soon. He ran all the way home. Kevin made a plan that was full of booby traps. He scattered toy cars and smeared tar on the basement steps. He made a big pile of feathers and hid sharp ornaments under the windowsills. He sprayed water on the front steps and tied paint cans to ropes. He stretched a tripwire through the hallway and built an escape route to his treehouse. At nine o'clock, Marv and Harry returned to the McAllister's house, ready to steal everything inside. 
they didn't know that Kevin had sprayed water all over the steps. Or that the water had frozen into slick, slippery ice. The burglars stumbled into all of Kevin's traps. Ich! Yo! Wah! Ew! Marv and Harry slipped on the toy cars and were knocked over by paint cans. Kevin escaped through his bedroom window and ran next door to his neighbor's house. Unfortunately, Marv and Harry were close behind. Now we've got you, kid, Harry said. Mr. Marley arrived just in time. Whack! Whack! He bonked the burglars with his snow shovel and called the police. Then he brought Kevin home. That night, Kevin left a note for Santa Claus, along with some milk and cookies. He couldn't wait for Christmas morning. Dear Santa, I don't need any presents. Just bring back my family. Love, Kevin McAllister. When he woke up the next day, Kevin rushed into the living room. Mom? Dad? Is anyone here? No one answered him. Then he heard a familiar voice. Kevin, is that you? His mother was home. I missed you so much, he said, giving her a giant hug. I missed you too, she said. Where are the others? Kevin asked. The front door flew open and there they were. His father, his brothers and sisters. Everyone was home at last. Are you okay? his father asked. I'm just happy you're all back, Kevin said. Merry Christmas! Thank you for listening to today's story. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share Reading Out Aloud. Thank you!